Hi guys, today I have a new case for the latest Raspberry Pi 3A Plus. So this is Arclic base uh, kind of case, come with a transparent layer and also black color layer. It's not transparent now because it comes with a protective paper sheet for each of the Arclic plate. So later we'll try to assemble it and we'll look at the end result. So it also comes with a fan, a cooling fan for you to mount it at this, I think this is the top layer. So let's try it out. So you need to peel off this uh, protective sheet for each Arclic plate, okay? So here you are, I have removed all the protective uh, paper or the sheet on the acrylic plate and you see the transparency <clears throat> and I'll not be connecting this so I'll put it aside of course you want to connect just connect it let's start so be careful with the orientation and the sequence of the acrylic plate uh, to avoid uh, confusion so I will Flip it over here, and so this is the first. This is the bottom layer. Uh, let me see where should I put. Is this the right orientation? No, I don't think so. I think this. Is. So you can check it using. Okay, the ram is over here, so it's correct. But it's not flat, so I think I just put another layer here. Okay, it's correct. How about this? Thing? Hmm. No, is this correct? Oh, okay. I'm using the bolt to come together just to align it. If you want to mount the cooling fan, uh, you should mount it on the top here. Then only you cover it up using the bolt and nut. So here you are, a nice case for the 3A Plus. You can still access to the power from the micro USB. Yep, you can see it's power up. So it didn't boot up because there's no SD card. So I just want to show you that you can access to the micro B for the power, standard HDMI, audio and video composite jack. The CSI cable can still come out from here. The single USB port. GPIO, you can pull the cable from the side or from the top. And you can put this thing to the RAM, uh, micro SD card slot, and what CSI cable from here. And also the GPIO. Of course, the fan, if you want to mount, please mount it. So that's all. Hopefully, this video is helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumb up and share it. As always, thanks for your time and see you next video. Bye!